Hey, Chapal Palimation, we are back to play more Mario and Luigi. I decided that, uh, we talked about ghost story shenanigans the last time we, uh, streamed on my Twitch, which you should check out. But I decided we should make today's episode a ghost stories episode. So we're gonna tell fun ghostly encounters after we deal with this. Oh, I don't remember what voice I gave this dude. You found all three of the Chocola fruit types. I am amazed. I think it was something like that. It really wasn't that hard. Very well. You passed very well. Go. I died. Yes. Oh, yes. The path is open. Oh, shit. I don't remember his voice. Just, just channel your inner bandit. I don't know what that means. What? There's no such thing as a bandit voice. Just imagine what a what a kneeving, sly little motherfucker oh, would sound like. Oh, he had like a weasely voice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Weasley voice. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm probably gonna. It's gonna be different. We were stuck and couldn't get past here. See, hiding here and waiting for a couple of schmoes was brilliant. I think this. I don't remember exactly what your last voice was, but I think this one you're doing now is better. Yeah. All right, rookie. Let's not waste any more time. We're golden. See. Stay golden, pony boy. All right. Let's chase after those buckaroos. So Sam, do you want to start with a ghost story? Oh, yeah. Can you tell your mom the? Are you gonna tell the uh, legit ghost story? So like, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. The other one's kind of lame, actually. With like scary stories to tell in the dark. That's what that one was from. I oh, think. okay. You're gonna tell your legit ghost story. So I've never had any personal paranormal thingies happen to me, but my family just is chock full of them. My mom grew up in a house, and I've been inside that house before, actually, when it went, went for sale, and we stopped by during an open house so she could show me it. Tiny house across from a big field where she once found an arrowhead, and she, has, she still has the arrowhead. I've seen it. Keep going. I'm rolling back here to get this blanket so I can cover up my controller. Anyway. That house, when they first moved in, my grandma decided she wanted to take down the wallpaper in the bedroom, master bedroom. To her surprise, she would take off the wallpaper and underneath was a layer of more wallpaper. I'll wait to go in there till you finish the story. And there was like seven layers of wallpaper. And obviously that's that's weird. Like <laughs> normally you take it down before you put on a different layer. Anyway, she found out from the neighbor that the lady that lived there before them, every night she would see an Indian or sorry, Native American <laughs> axe on the wall at nighttime when she tried to go to bed and it freaked her out. So she tried to cover it up with wallpaper. Except she would still see it every night, and that's why there's a shit ton of wallpaper in that room. Spoopy. Spoopy. <laughs> but that's not the only thing. Like, that house, like, my mom said, like, she woke up and there was a lady sitting at the foot of her bed, like, all white. And her brother, one of her brothers, saw that same, well, I guess, saw a lady, similar description, just walk down the hallway at nighttime. So, I mean, like, when I was in there, it's, it seemed like it was a creepy house. It was tiny, though. Alright. But, yeah. I will, I'll tell my... I have I have personal ghost story experiences. I don't... I wouldn't say I 100% believe in ghosts, but I definitely have unexplained phenomena that have has happened to me. But I will tell mine after this little part. I don't know. My what? name is Bubbles. I built Chateau de Chucklefuck and I founded for Cola Cola Inc. And I am the ultimate comedian with the laughing and the chortling and the har har har. Yes, monsieurs. Damn it, more French. Shit. Sorry if you hear a dog squeak toy in the background. He never plays with the squeak <laughs> no, he toys. No, he always waits. 
until we're recording. Yeah, he will never play with his squeak toys unless we're recording. Indeed, what you see before you is the most legendary of sodas, the Fakola Reserve. And I am pleased to tell you this Fakola Reserve is yours to enjoy. Har har har! I have worked on Fakola Reserve for a thousand years. That's old. Telling it joke after joke so it would mature, and then mature some more, and then yet more. Until at last the greatest soda of all would be completed with the fizz and the tastiness. Because it is a soda of such high caliber and repute, rude guests meet a fate such as this. Undo truss! Oh, yeah. oh my god. Yoshi. Yoshi, shut up. He's barking at our cat. That's no ordinary soda, see? We can't stand up to such a beverage. Gah! The great chocolate reserve is a thing to savor with the flavor and tang and yum in the belly. Mm. Oh. I mean, I don't really care that's fighting them. Ah, oh, just wonderful, so wonderful. The great soda shine. I'm gonna go grab our dumb cat. Yeah. Purposely. Our cat like will antagonize. purposely antagonize the dog and get him all riled up and everything. Our animals work in tandem to be against us. And he's just, our cat just sits there like a dumb dumb like, oh, why is he going at me? All I did was stand there and stare at him for three hours. Man, what an idiot. However, that was not the only hidden power that my jokes have bred over these thousand years. Ew. Now I insist you fully experience the texture, taste, and aroma of Vakola Reserve. I need to fight this bon appetit. Oh. I'm not the type. <laughs> oh, he's going for you. He's going for you. Uh, sorry. You didn't have your controller, right, did you? No, it didn't um, work. That's me. You pressed me. Um, I pressed B and then I pressed. You pressed A because Mario was swinging his hammer when I wasn't oh, but touching I pressed anything. B too. Did you? Yeah. There you go, Weech. I'll bring you back. We should have healed before going in. Yeah, I kind of forgot what our health was at. That's alright. Bro's move that bitch. I don't remember what kind of strategy he has. I hope that shield doesn't stop anything. Oh, shit. <laughs> Not today. Oh, I wasn't doing the holding down thing. Oh, is that what was happening? Yeah. Alright, I need to use a mushroom. Mushy, mushy. I'm gonna turn up the volume. Just a little bit so we can hear it. There we go. Well, there's nothing. I guess just try. Try hammering him. Maybe, like, you can hammer his shield. Um, yeah, see if it, is that the only thing to attack it's him? Yeah. Huh, I guess just yeah, try hammer him. Huh, did more I guess. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, we only do this we only record like once a week. And sometimes I forget what to do. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna try a bros attack because he doesn't have his. <clears throat> Is this the one where I like dunk uh, Luigi he, and attack? That one's not that great, actually. All right, we'll do this one. Do you press A first or do I? You. Me. Oh, it's yeah. your attack, so you go first. Damn what it! What the hell? Okay, so I guess we. He's going for you. Ah. Uh. Going for you again. Alright, I'll bring you back. Don't worry about it. So I have, I think, four more of these, so... Oh. Oh, oh. Ah, fuck. See, it's hard to That's... dodge. That thing's strong. <laughs> Alright, I guess just... Ooh, I have an idea. Should I heal again? You might want to, yeah. Is it, is it your, your bro's move or mine that has me, like... <coughs> huh. Sorry, I have like something points. dry stuck in my throat. Probably that chunky steak we had. Yeah, is it uh your your bros move or mine that has no, like Mario do left. Mario do the rapid hammer spin? It's you. 
That's me? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try that, because Hammer, <sighs> I think, does... <sighs> you, Sora just went right back in there. Of course he did. Oh, we gotta go move our stupid ass cat again. <laughs> he was he's in shit shit. Oh damn it. It's not going well. Yeah. We literally moved our cat out of the kitchen to stay away from the dog and he just lock him upstairs for now. So he doesn't just run right back in there. He's such a little antagonizer. That's what he does with me too. He always attacks me and then he'll play the victim. Like I started the fight. All right. Ow. Try your yeah. Try your second bros move, the one that uses the hammer. Cause I have a feeling maybe just hammer does a lot more to him than jumping does. Oops. Fire. That doesn't use my hammer. Fire Mario to attack. I think no, it does. Cause you swing the hammer. You hit me with the hammer. Oh. How's this working? I don't know, just press the button when it tells you. You press it. Oh, Ooh. nice. Ooh, oh, we nice. broke a shield. So. Good job. I actually did it. Shit. <laughs> oh no, crybaby Ouija. Oh no, it, it stunned me. Wait, did I not use a syrup on myself? Oh, I can't because you're stunned. Damn it. Oh. Still hit him with that, at least. All right, yeah, do that bros move again. The good one, the good, good one. Oh, oh so did, still did 18. Oh, really? I thought I could, I thought if I jumped on it, I'd be fine. Fuck. It's all right. Bring me back, bro. Our cast crying. You get what you get what you had coming to you. All right, there we go. Not too bad. Good, good at stopping this one at least. Damn it! I, I would, I would say die. something. I'm sorry. That one's it does nine damage. It's hard. You died again. I did die again. We need to stock up on items. Yeah. We're running dangerously. Already. Well, we don't have a store, but I think we we should have a store soon. Maybe even after this. We just have to wait for Beam Bean Kingdom to be restored. Oh my god. Oh, cutie. Come after me. Oh damn it! Oh god, why is this so hard? Oh, I'm not even getting a chance to attack because I keep <laughs> having me. to heal me every turn. Yeah. How about you take a mushroom to heal up? You're not full health. We both need to just fully heal. We're using that. There we go. Shit. All right. On the bright side, you got you standing again. <laughs> Alright, I'll use a mushroom. I'll use a bros move. Oh, I see it does 15 in it. Yeah, and then initially. it. Yeah. Oh, do you not see it was doing that much? I thought it was like 5, 4, 3, 2. Alright. Yeah, good. I think. Okay, we'll just, we'll just really keep up on healing. This isn't going to be the prettiest fight, but we can survive it. I mean. <laughs> Alright, you heal up and I will use this again. Damn. Oh, still got the 15 at least. Alright, I'm sorry guys. We're doing <laughs> we're doing yeah. awful in this fight, but I'm fighting right, for my moves fucking are life. Hard to dodge, you know? I don't even know how to dodge that one. That one you just have to jump over, but it, it... Do we jump I over? think you like for the hammer, I've been like holding A and then pressing A to swing it. All right, I have to use a uh, syrup. We at least do a refreshing excuse. We at least have syrup one nuts. super mushroom. Oh, syrup. Yeah. Hmm. 
and then I'll heal up. I'll heal up next turn. I just kind of press it twice, honestly. Like, I hold it for like a, a half a second and then press it. That's what I've been doing. Mmm, <sighs> I can survive another go. I just want to end this fight. <laughs> yeah. You can. Use, I don't know if bounce rolls will do a lot. Should I use a syrup then? I might as well. We got a lot of them. And then one of us will probably need to heal next turn. Damn it, I cannot dodge that one. Alright, this one's you. God, how do you fucking dodge that one? Alright. Should I just use a nut? Yeah. Alright, no. Oh, we'll... nuts. Oh, nuts. <laughs> you, can... you may be better than us. We have an endless supply of items. That's how I used to feel with Pokemon. You go like Elite Four. I'm at least good at that spamming one. Spamming healings. Right. What the? You didn't see who was going for you? No. He aimed he his was gun. Standing up there. Yeah, but he aimed his gun down. Come on, you can't have much left, dude. <laughs> Just let us win this one, please. Yeah. Oh. What the? What are you doing? What are you doing? Do bats like baseball? <laughs> no. You, you fucking cuckola. Only a, twelve. Yeah, that's not the worst. <sighs> ah. Sorry. Oh no. Oh, <gasps> I dodged it <laughs> for the very first time. How did you dodge that? I don't know, but it. I did it. Alright, alright. Uh, I think I need to heal him. Alright, yeah. Go for it. But I think he's gonna heal him. Yeah, I think so too. But I don't want to risk not killing him and then... Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, I mean, I... It, worse, I think he'll just heal 12 again, then I'll do it right back at him. Who hears horse horses? 17. It's alright. Ow! Ah. Ow! You bit me! You poisoned my brother, you asshole. I guess I can- yeah, I guess I can only do it when I'm that low. Alright, get rid of hammer. <sighs> Sorry. I'm really bad at like seeing if it's hammer. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, heal up, heal up. Sorry, I wanted to go for. Like I said, just keep an eye on the t top left. Ow. See, not so easy. No, it's not. I acknowledge that. My bro's moving. There we go. Yay! Oh, flawless, Horrible. flawless victory. Oh, hey, we got a one-up <laughs> mushroom. No! But, but the jokes, the puns, the humor I've saved up over the last a thousand years. You jerk. Ah, uh, Revar, quit using it's French. Is that what it is? Arrivederci. I don't know. French. Oh, but it's a Ouija-only adventure. Dope. I guess this is a good time to tell my horror stories while Sam does her own little adventure and saves me. So yeah, I had I've had a few personal ghost experiences. Uh, one of them is um, I remember when I was a little kid, me and my uh, older me and my stepbrother, we were heading upstairs to go play in my room and we just saw like a white like kind of like dress shape, and. It always, it just, uh, at first I thought it was just my eyes playing like tricks on me and so I just kept going and then my stepbrother stopped me and he's like, do you see what's at the top of the stairs? 
And that's when I was like, my mind was like, shit, 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 something that actually there. Oh. And uh, we ended up just uh, running. Rather than going upstairs to my room, we just kind of ran downstairs to the basement and uh, cowered. And uh, what was weird is like normally the logical part of me was like, okay, there are it was probably like a door was open and like light was reflecting weird or something. But sure enough, we went back upstairs a little bit later and like we were the only ones home. And no no doors were like, uh, no doors were open or anything. So I don't know what kind of light could have been reflecting to make that little like dress shape. But scared the shit out of like little nine year old me. And then uh, funny enough, like pretty much all of them. Maybe, maybe my stepbrother is haunted, because I think pretty much all of my ghost stories happen with him around. Because I think another one... Shit balls. Hopefully you kill him. Another one that happened was, uh, there's one time we were hanging out at my stepbrother's house. I would just run away. I think they're just gonna keep doing that. I don't wanna level up <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> But anyway, yeah, the other one was at my uh, my stepbrother's house, and uh, we kept hearing uh, jumping on the upstairs bed. Like very, it was very loud and obnoxious. It was super obvious that it was jumping on the bed. And so we were uh, yelling at his uh, little brother upstairs to quit jumping on the bed. And sure enough, it kept repeating. And so we kept being like, "Hey, quit jumping on the bed, knock it off." And then uh, finally, his uh, his mom got home from the grocery store, and she came downstairs, and we're like, "Hey, can you tell?" Uh, Funny enough, my little stepbrother's also named Austin. He's, we were like, hey, can you tell Austin to uh, quit jumping on the bed? And then she's like, Austin's been over at his friend's house for like the past two hours. And so that scared the shit out of us too. Yeah, yeah, spoopy stories, spoopy stories. <laughs> the other one was a real, a real short, quick one. It was um, one time Tyler, Austin, my stepbrother Austin and I were hanging out on the bed playing Halo. And uh, we were like all sitting at like uh, the the edge of the bed with like both our controllers, our hands like on the controllers, like just playing the game. And uh, Tyler like turned around for like a quick second, and he's like, "What the fuck?" And then like we all turned and like stared and saw it, and there was just like a very clear like handprint like pushing into the bed. Yeah. Yeah. When like all all three of all six of our hands, I guess were on the controllers, no one was, it was like even like farther back to where it's like, it would have been very obvious if someone like reached back there and did it. So yeah, that, that's freaky. Yeah, I think those are all my ghost, ghostly experiences. Oh, perfect timing, right when you get me back. Just Bye, kidding. Bye, bitch. <laughs> wow, I'm probably drowning in there. <laughs> you know, Luigi. We're back. You know, Luigi's really earned this, so he's earned having his own little fun adventure while Mario gets embarrassed. Mario died. The end. Hmm, well, look at this. A very Mario-esque fellow and a Lou, uh, some other guy. What? What is it? Mario's gut is filled to the brim with... Bacola Reserve? It's sloshing around in his insides. Gross. Sounds kind of hot to me. Uh, th that's terrible and sort of disgusting. We must contact Lady Lima immediately. Hmm, by the way, what's Bacola Reserve? You're the one that said it. Shh, I have no idea. Yeah, yeah, we didn't even say anything. No, Luigi explained it to him. Oh. Uh, Rawr, grr, Queen Bee has been in a deep sleep, just as you see her now. Did you truly obtain some of the legendary Bacola Reserve? I'm gonna baby bird it to her. That's disgusting. Blah! Uh oh. There's the belly black worm. Blah! Are you just gonna let it go? Ugh! Oh. I forgot how ugly you were. Success! A truly repugnant, yes, truly a tremendous success! Okay, are you gonna get, like, your head chopped off for what you just said? Queen Bean has returned! Ah, that's the hardest I've laughed in a long, long time! Well done, Lady Lima! No, your highness, it is not I, but rather the Mario Bros, whom you must think. Mm, so Cackletta has stolen Princess Peach's voice and the Beam Star. It was my fault. 
Nonsense! Why would Cacoletta steal the Bean Star and Princess Peach's voice in the first place? Oh, who knows? The ancient scroll shall Hidden tell us. Star. The Bean Star is the protector of this land and it has the power to grant any and all desires. To prevent such power from being used for evil, the Bean Star was cast into a deep sleep. It is said that a voice of great beauty is required to wake the Bean Star from its slumber. Uh -huh. It must be... <laughs> All right, Fiona. It must be the voice of a pure and noble soul. In this day and age, Princess Peach is the only one who possesses such a voice. Okay. Are we... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Are we implying that Mario doesn't have a pure and noble soul? Mm -hmm. I such would a argue. voice. I thought it said it had to be a soul, which would produce a voice. Maybe it said voice. Well, maybe you need both. <laughs> Well, okay, I'm still... Okay, second thought. Are you saying Mario doesn't have a pure and noble voice? <laughs> no. What's so wrong with my voice? So the reason Cacoletta stole Princess Peach's voice. Aha, she must plan to awaken the Bean Star and fulfill all of her desires. I guess it's the queen still talking. I thought this was like a narrator. And there's no mistaking her one true desire to rule the world. How? Fear yeah. not, I foresaw this desire of hers long, long ago. We are prepared. Card for card, we have a better hand than she. Be prepared. Your Highness, Prince Peasley has arrived. Perfect timing, Master Mario, Master Luigi. Head out to meet Prince Peasley. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Aw, she remembered your name, Weege. She ain't bad. She ain't half bad at all. It would be great if no one attacked the town or castle anymore. Yeah, that'd be nice. Foreshadowing. Just kidding. I don't think anyone actually does attack <laughs> after this. Hello. <gasps> so handsome. Cheers to Red and Greeny. Thank you for your help earlier. Get out of here, Alan. Yes, thanks to you. My secret mission is about to pay off. Ha 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 ha. I don't know how to laugh like that with Ollie, this voice. Oh, leaf. <laughs> yeah. Prince Beasley, excellent work on your mission. Have you learned the whereabouts of Cacoletta? <laughs> Thanks to you. Absolutely. Okay, Southeast of this castle is Woohoo University, <laughs> University <laughs> a local research institution. Cacoletta and her underlings have just snuck in there into Woohoo University. <laughs> Jeez, that, that's a fucking woo. tongue twister. Yes, of course, Woohoo University is the perfect place to awaken the Bean Star. I intend to march into Woohoo University right yeah. this instant. May we meet again? Oh, I'm fabulous. Master Mario, Master Luigi, this may be a chance to recover Princess Peach's voice. I shall inform the locals that you are to be allowed to passage on the road to Woohoo University. To passage. To passage. To passage. To pack. To pack passage. To pack. All right. Let's hope this town is restored so that we can buy shit. Oh boy, I'm gonna be back. What happened to your picture? It's because it's because I was absent from you when you saved the game last. Ha uh ha. -huh. We have a good amount of money too. All the better to spend on items. We haven't even been playing this game six hours yet. Maybe it feels like longer since it's so been so split up. All right, yeah, shit's fixed. Pants. Overalls, buff chick. I want new overalls. But I offered price. So, uh, what do you want to do? I want hot fashion. want some hot fashion. Oh my I got the best fashion. Bean I want pants, fucking bean trousers, hard. Blue jeans, parasol pants, Ooh. hard pants, hard jeans. I love hard pants. This one makes my defense go up a ton. This one makes. You jump. Okay, hold on. Let's see what we jump. have here. So bean trousers. Can be worn by either of us? Yep. Can be worn by either. 42, the 31. I want hard jeans. Let's see what hard jeans do for you. Oops, wrong button. Ooh, hard jeans aren't bad. Hard jeans aren't bad. My hard pants. Hard pants don't do anything for my HP, but they do bring my... You know what? I think that's a fair trick. Wait, parasol pants are apparently better, but they bring my defense down by four. I feel like hard pants are better than that. It doesn't bring my HP up, but my defense really jumps up. Indeed. Oh, we get, we get a discount because of our stashes. All right, I'm gonna get hard pants. Sweet. Well, I want heart jeans. You're getting your heart jeans. Don't worry. What did blue jeans do? Flashy badges. All right, let's see what we got. 
Uh, I bring that stuff to up and things. I'm nervous about doing stuff that like lowers stuff. Yeah. I'm not confident enough. It's bean badge. It's a key badge too. It costs 69 coins. Ha. Nice. Brings yeah, our brings B BP no. down but our normal attack up. This one just brings normal attack up by two. Me. This one... Power. Those are so expensive. counter attack damage. Maybe you should buy our regular items first and see what we have left. We could always buy this. Come back and buy this one at least. It'll just bring... Ooh, that one's... That one's... Oh, we're definitely buying this one for you. Look at that. But that's really expensive. It's 75. I know. Don't worry. Alright, hold on. So, anything really cool for me? How do you know if it's only for Mario? No, it's, uh, we either. we can both wear either of these, but, like, It's see, got different effects. Yeah. Because, oh. like, this one, see, that one was really great for you, but it only does... This one brought, like, oh, both of your things up a good amount, but it only brings my pow up by two. Bean B. I'm a bean B. Yeah, I don't want to bring my BP down at all. BP is, like, the most useful thing I have. The BBB badge. All right. Triple B. Yeah, we'll go buy items first, and I'll come back here. Maybe you didn't use some- Oh, what do you want to do? Ooh, We, we have ah. to sell our old overalls. Huh. Our work pants. Not worth a lot, but... Something. Yeah. If you like, if you like selling stuff, you should really try buying something. What do you want to do, baby? Window shopping's free, honey. Preferably you. I'm into that buff shit. 